Faction, the U.S. Army, World War II. Before the war had started, the U.S. Army was a small professional force. When Germany overran Poland within a matter of weeks in 1939, a greater urgency was put on building up the numbers in the army already envisioned by the Rainbow Plan. In 1940, the United States introduced selective conscription, requiring registration of all men between 21 and 35, and by 1941, the U.S. Army had grown to 1.5 million men. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, declaring war on the U.S., with Germany and Italy declaring war a few days later. The sleeping giant had been awoken. The U.S. Army expanded greatly as a result from both volunteers and increased conscription. The Japanese forces invaded the Philippines on December 8, 1941, and quickly stormed the U.S. and Philippine garrison, led by General Douglas MacArthur defending it. But major combat operations for the U.S. Army began in 1942. Europe was chosen first as a target because Germany threatened Britain as an ally, which if invaded, would make future attacks difficult. U.S. troops arrived in Britain and were involved in Operation Torch on November 8, 1942 in Morocco and Algeria, after the Soviet Union requested a second front to relieve the pressure on the Red Army. The U.S. Army then fought against German and Italian forces in Tunisia, followed by an invasion of Sicily and mainland Italy in 1943. In the Pacific, meanwhile, fighting by the U.S. Army alongside the U.S. Marines and other allies was concentrated around Rabaul and air bases in the Solomon Islands. On the Western Front, General Dwight Eisenhower was in charge of the Allied invasion of Normandy, known as Operation Overlord, in 1944. On June 6, D-Day, the U.S. Army landed at Utah and Omaha beaches, where they suffered heavy casualties from the German defenders on the cliffs above. U.S. Rangers also scaled the cliffs at Point du Hoc between Utah and Omaha to destroy the coastal gun battery at the top. U.S. paratroopers, meanwhile, dropped behind the beaches into Nazi-occupied France several hours before main landings. The U.S. Army would push into the Netherlands fighting German forces during Operation Market Garden and into the Ardennes during the Battle of the Bulge, pushing the army to its limits. In March 1945, they crossed the Rhine and entered into the heartland of Germany in April. By the end of April, the U.S. Army was racing east to Berlin, Vienna, and Prague. In the Pacific, an island-hopping strategy was used, enabling the U.S. Army to take vulnerable, poorly defended islands from the Japanese, supporting the drive to the main islands of Japan. The U.S. Army returned to the Philippines in October 1944 and landed on Okinawa in April 1945, the last major battle of the Pacific Theater. In the Second World War, 10 million soldiers served in the U.S. Army. It is estimated that 235,000 were killed and 592,000 wounded. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.